Chicago's very own 9 o'clock news. Good evening. There is a startling new development in the murders of a Lake County, Indiana Sheriff's police officer and the officer's wife. WTVX, Fort Pierce, Stewart Bureau, and the Palm Beaches. And now, WTVX News, a comprehensive report and analysis of today's major news events with Jim Holmes, Anita Boyd, weather with Chris Farrell, and Steve Yavner Sports. Good evening, everyone. Citrus growers sounded off in Fort Pierce today. They had their chance to talk to state leaders about the spread of citrus canker. Central Florida's leading news station. This is Eyewitness News at 5.30. Good evening. Here's the latest at 5.30. The app. Now, Bob Jordan. Bob Upsall. Weatherman Danny Trader. And Mike Storms on sports. This is Eyewitness News. Hi, everybody. Here's what's happening tonight. And is a News 8 special report. Decision 94, debate for governor. And now your moderator, Suzanne Jiha. Good evening and welcome to this News 8 special report, Decision... Governor John Engler and Howard Wolpe. Who will get your vote in 94? TV2 presents the Candidates Debate, sponsored by the Economic Club of Detroit. And now your moderator, Eyewitness News anchor, Rich Fisher. everybody and welcome to the first televised Michigan gubernatorial. Thank you for watching KSHB. This is what's happening. First at 6 on 41 News. A woman is found unconscious in a Kansas City park, but she's one of the lucky ones. The heat wave killed three people. Good evening, I'm Jim Condellis. And I'm Laurie Roberts. Thanks for joining us. First at Faulkner calls it quits today at the Citadel. Now she's headed home to the upstate. Team coverage is next. Dedicated, determined, dependable. You're watching Emmy Award-winning News Channel 4 at 6. And good evening, everyone. I'm Jim McElroy. Vanessa is off this evening. It was one week ago. This You're watching WALA Channel 10, bringing you more news more often. Now, from the number one news station on the Gulf Coast, this is Action News 10, live at 5 p.m. The day after, folks along the Gulf Coast look in at awe at the damage left behind by Hurricane Opal. You are watching KMOX TV Channel 4. And now, from St. Louis's number one news team, Betsy Bruce with Channel 4 Saturday Newsroom Report. Good evening and welcome to Newsroom. Tonight, federal aviation investigators report there was no indication of anything. From KPLR TV, Channel 11 the number one independent news team in the country. News Watch. Good evening and welcome to News Watch. I'm Dennis Edwards. This hour's top story, medical examiners are trying to... Throughout the Delaware Valley, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News Nightcast. Good evening, I'm Steve Bell. And I'm Jackie Hayes for Diane Allen. Now, Dave Buckle, Sandy Lesko, Vince Cellini on sports, and Mark Kuntz with weather. This is News Center 8. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Here's what's happening. Forecast coming up. ABC 57 News at 6 starts now. Covering South Bend, Elkhart, and all of Michiana, this is ABC 57 News at 6. Right now, a councilman's police encounter. Tonight, he talks about his ride home from a South Bend Common Council meeting and how he ended up in handcuffs and his dad ended up in jail. Henry Davis Jr. has been an outspoken critic of the police department and the mayor's office. Watching ABC 57 News in high definition with Keith Nelson and first warning neighborhood weather meteorologist Tom Coombs. Good morning, Michiana. 
Start out your day in the 60s. A mild start looking at Skycast for Elkhart warming up to see right now. Covering South Bend, Elkhart, and all of Michiana, this is ABC 57 News at 6. This morning in South Bend, roadways on the city's west side are now back open after a hair salon catches on fire overnight. Straight ahead, a live look at the damage. And it looks like some AM General employees will have to wait a bit longer before returning to work. Details on the shutdown extension plus. Caffeine connoisseurs, you may want to cut back a bit. A new report is out linking five deaths to energy drinks. So how much is too much? We welcome you here. Nice to have you at ABC 57 News. I'm Keith Nelson. Let's begin with a quick look at your forecast. Here's ABC 57 First Warning neighborhood meteorologist Tom Coombs. Good morning, Keith. Oh, well, we're not tracking any rain this morning with ABC 57 First Warning live down the radar. So we are starting. Evening, I'm Frank Favoni. Tonight on ABC 45 Late Edition, foul weather blows into the Piedmont, leaving some damage in its wake. Then smile why you could be the next subject of a real-life cop show. Plus... Paying the price for urban sprawl, how one Piedmont city is handling its growth. But first, look at what's ahead on New Central. Hello and good evening, everyone. I'm Jennifer Gladstone. Here's what's happening tonight. What do Americans really know? The trip to Grandma's turned out to be a little wet for some. Will we dry out? KHIZ TV 64, Barstow, Victorville, Apple Valley, Hesperia. This is KHIZ TV 64, News at 10. It's been... Coming up on UPN 48 News at 10, giving us down, revenues are off, but not for one nonprofit CEO. I'm Jeff Barn. Also coming up, are we setting ourselves up for deja vu all over again? Tonight, we take a look at national insecurity and what happens when the Secret Service gets separated from the president. Then, why police are warning the elderly to be on the lookout. Good evening, everyone. Here's what's happening. Guilford County's embattled health director is back in the news again. Dr. Ramesh Krishnaraj was... From the first team, this is Channel 2 News This Morning with Mary Murphy. Sponsored by Folgers Coffee. Good morning. Right now it's 725. It's 70 degrees and clear in Midtown. It's... You're watching the award-winning News Center 1 at 10. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Hopkins. And I'm Al Van Zee. Thank you for choosing News Center 1. You're watching News Center 1 at 10 with Al Van Zee, Elizabeth Hopkins, Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio, and Ryan Gunn Sports. West East. You're watching News Center 1 weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio. We had some strong thunderstorms move through uh, South Central, uh, South Dakota, and South... Good evening, I'm Candace Chapman. Here's the latest with America at War. President Bush... You're watching Action News, your news leader with Candace Chapman, Paul Griffey on sports, and meteorologist Dr. Bill Rogers with Storm Tracker Weather on WBNG-TV. From our studios in the Gateway City, this is Loreto, live at noon. With Larry Sanchez, Angel Parker, and Michelle Cortez. And good afternoon and welcome to Laredo Live at Noon. I'm Larry Sanchez. And I'm Angel Parker. After all of the delays, Joshua Burkett comes face to face with a judge. KVTV, Channel 13, Laredo. Storms on the radar. What better way to do that than to be outside Bush Stadium? I'll have the latest on the weather for Game 3. News 11 starts now. 
And good evening. First on News 11 and 7, a big night in baseball as the Cards return to Bush Stadium for Game 3 against the Brewers. The Redbirds. Time now, 5.13. Hope you're up and at them this morning. Japan has... Wake up, wake up. It is 5 a.m. on this Tuesday, and good morning to you. I'm Heather Mon